Hey, hey, this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Thanks. Anyway, out here in this 23-foot uh, uh, wi or willies, I believe. No, a luma well. I'm sorry, I can tell by the back and the sides here. So it's 23, uh, I think it's 2015, a luma well. I mean, this thing is spotless. It's like the day it rolled out. You got your diamond plate up front. You got your North River anchor. Uh, North River anchor on a double fork and it's kind of like the North River but that's called an anchor caddy and he's got some ropes up there then up in here there's just storage all these compartments are with locks you got bumpers and I believe he has a half tank of gas this is all diamond plate there's a Looks like a mortgage cover, some life jackets that go with it too. It looks like he's getting out of boating to me because he's got his bumpers. Everything comes with the boat. It looks like his rod holders. Anytime they throw in their life jackets, raincoats, stuff like that, typically they're getting out of it. So he must have just wanted a few years of fishing. Got a panel, boat hook, storage box seats. There's nothing in them. These slide got cup holders in them as well got the four leg captains uh, you got your battery switch on the outside a VHF radio that works as well and that's a Delorance a link 5 so that should have the hooked up to a NEMA so you get your latitude and longitude on it cup holder here slider on that force down hose there battery switch here water Right here, we got the two drain plugs in here. Keys are in the ignition. Run switch, run switch here. And this is the kill button here, your primer here, and I'll show you how to start all that. And if you pull this piece out here, that's like a, a lock where you can lock your steering. A lot of people don't know that. You just take a screwdriver and pop that out and there's a little lock that you can have it lock up like that if you want to. Okay, friction right here, choke here, prime that. And it looks like to me, it is a pull start only. Nope, it's electric. There's your start button right here. Here's your friction for your steering. Here's your shift. This is a 150 with the prop. So this thing should go good. And this has got a lock on the handle too, right here you pull out and you can release this handle. This is your friction for your throttle. You got your trim up and down here. That's your motor lock. Your Lowrance, you got a rear tank fill. You got dual batteries. You got a good draining system right here. You've got uh, dual batteries, battery charger, seacock valves right down on the bottom. That's to get water, which he probably has that shut off. No, that's to, uh, that there's to the wars down right there. Sorry about that. It's early in the morning. Got the water separator here. It's got the big uh, auto float on the bilge pump down there. It's probably about a 1200. And then you go back in here. Here's the Lowrance HDS. Uh, half tank of fuel. If you hit your nav lights, that comes on. Bilge pump works. The live well he doesn't have. Accessory could be for this. Got a 12 volt power point right here. And I'll show you that when we get out in the water. I mean, this thing is like spotless. So anybody that's looking for a good 23 foot open, like a guide boat, it's kind of a charcoal, Columbia, OR963 AFD, got the anchor guard up front, and they got the channel trailer. I like those a lot better than the two because then the water don't sit in there and uh, rust. <laughs> Round seven plug that comes with it with a flat five, so it does have trailer brakes. It's got your straight out coupler so about 18 20 inch from the ground to the top of your ball uh got the flat flip i like that got the cables versus the chain got the pin for the latch spare tire carrier dual wheels there's your trailer numbers and stuff right here the year the serial number probably the weight and the model numbers on there And I don't see nothing on the side. That there's a drain for that one box. These are Power Kings. They're 205, 75 R, 14, 5 lug, 80 pound torque. About 50 pounds on the tire pressure, torsion axle, chine guides, chine guide, or guide, that's a chine guide. So 
got the chine goes on the guide so it doesn't scrape up the side of your boat you got your point one antenna for a heading sensor for your gps a p66 transducer zinc my drain plug there is two in here and tempest hmm 17 pitch 150 that's about right I like these motors are like brand spanking new this is a pro 99 uh, mercury pro kicker and here's the serial number on that or651422 and the serial number here 8 WB is a lumen well and last two digits this is 25 but I think it's 23 foot last two is the, the years of 15 and here's the serial number here on the motor as well I don't know if you can see that uh, anchor lights worked, running light up front worked. And I've got that new buddy bearing. I don't think you got every five years or something on the buddy bearings. And then he's got the, looks like the decking, two uh, two by six deckings. So yeah, this is a nice, well-equipped, good antenna. He's got the one that's, uh, huh, most eight footers don't have, probably have the reception that Galaxy's got. You see how thick it is at the base in that chrome? That uh, got some, uh, output and transmission output transmit receive rx so let's take this into the water and see what she does oh and this boat is for sale it's on consignment it's a brokered boat and to me i man he must have only kept this sucker in the fresh water so i'm going to take it up the river anyway he's even got like a little keel protector on the front it may even be called line cutter actually i bet yeah yeah probably a line cutter line gets up there and it'll cut it all right off to the water we go